Today I'm gonna to show you how to make beef ribs, dino ribs, shorties, whatever, at home. And it's a foolproof method, low and slow. You'll be rewarded with barky, smoky, tender, savory meat. What's better than that? This is one of the first long form YouTube videos we're doing, so any critiques, anything you liked, didn't like, let me know, bear with us. We're learning how we do this as we go. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna be posting once, probably twice a week, long form videos. Let me know what tutorials you want in the comments. If you want me to go, I can do some crazy videos, some normal videos, like basic barbecue, basic steak, whatever. It's gonna be very meaty. But yeah, just let us know. Let's go, baby. Also make sure to subscribe, like, I, I don't know, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you wanna start off with a well marbled beef short rib plate. We got a four bone one right here. It can be prime, it can be choice, whatever your heart desires. As long as it's got good marbling, use that one. And then trim off some of that excess fat and silver skin on there so you get a better bark and you should be good to go. Got the gloves. We're gonna use some buffalo wing sauce. As the binder, it's got vinegar in it, a lot of it, so it'll do pretty well. Drizzle that on there. Lather a nice, even coat of that buffalo sauce on there. You don't want too much. And then start to sprinkle on your seasoning. I used my personal dirt, but you could use salt, pepper, garlic, traditional barbecue seasonings if you want. Just make sure it's a nice, even coat. All right, beef ribs are all seasoned up. Now we're gonna go ahead and smoke them at like 200 until they hit about 180 internal on the Traeger. And then we're gonna wrap them and cook them till they're about 200, 205. They should be spoon tender, but not, not like pot roast, you know? And we're not trying to make your grandma's pot roast here. Let's freeze my balls off so I put it on the coat. You gotta put the meter probes in here. What was I saying? Prevent burning. Did I just say all that again? Once it's been smoking for a while, to prevent burning or drying out in certain parts of the meat, I like to fill up a spray bottle, or in this case, a garden tool, with a fruit juice of some sort, or booze, like beer or something, or strawberry lemonade hard seltzer. Boom, crank it. And this is gonna be like a more even spray. Now we just spray a nice even layer on there. Don't want to do it too much. You don't want to drench your meat. We hit 180 internal. Now we're gonna wrap it in some butcher paper with a little bit more of that Truly juice and then throw it back on the Traeger until it hits about 200, pull it off. Beef ribs, you don't have to let rest as long as a brisket. So probably let it rest like half an hour and we're Gucci. Now we take some butcher paper, lay it out, lay our beef ribs on there. One more spritz. Wrap it up like a present. The bones are on the bottom right here. Sealed. Money. <laughs> All right, we hit 200 internal, and well, we hit like 195, 193, carryover cook, probably raised up like five minutes after taking it off the grill. Carryover cook is basically when you take it off the grill, it continues to go up, climb a couple degrees, so better to be safe than sorry, take it off a little earlier. It's been resting like 20 minutes. Butcher paper's moist, and we're gonna unwrap, unwrap our gift. Better than anything I got for Christmas this year. I wow. Absolutely stellar bark on this. Bark is the outside black looking uh, exterior of the smoked meat that it's been on for a while. Brisket bark, you probably heard of that. Smoke ring on this is 
amazing. I'm coming from all sides. Just because it doesn't have a smoke ring sometimes, this one does, but if it didn't, doesn't mean it's not, doesn't have that smoky flavor. It just depends on the meat and what kind of meat it is and how dense it is and etc. We're gonna slice this bad boy open. Uh, it's not falling apart, but it's, it is tender. I can tell you that. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is ridiculous. The juice? Are you kidding me? That's a waterfall, bro. Now, I'm gonna take a bite. I had I couldn't resist, I had to take one out of frame. Oh my god, these are these are up there with the, some of the best beef ribs I've ever made. Cause they're not falling apart, yet they're so juicy and so tender. I mean like, that's just ridiculous. You can see all the crazy marbling still, and it's fully cooked to like 200 degrees. That's insane. That just shows how high quality this meat is. And if you do low and slow, it's gonna be juicy, it's gonna get the smoke ring, it's gonna have the bark. So just trust the process. It's gonna take a while, start it early in the morning, but you'll have a very rewarding dinner. Holy shit, try that. Look at the marbling still able to see through the meat. This is cooked to 200 degrees and you can still see all that intramuscular fat. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Drop a little bit of garlic salt on there. Just for taste. But yeah, you can put this on sandwiches. You could shred this up in a pasta. You could cube it up in a mac and cheese. You could put it on a taco. You can literally, there's so many uses for this. Am I gonna do any right now? No. We're gonna body this shit straight, probably within the next 10 minutes after we film. Yeah, I mean, a lot of uses for this. It's super easy. People get scared of big pieces of meat, expensive pieces of meat, but if you do it low and slow, be very careful about the temperature and you monitor it, you're gonna turn out with a good result. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> one more. Avoid my hand. Yeah. Security. Security guards hate it. Security guards don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to get into a club and there's a security guard that's bigger than you? Just bring a tripod. He'll fucking flee the scene. 